Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repro Products. Today's video is on what's new in AutoCAD 2023, specifically the update to the trace command. Uh, prior to the update and the latest uh, release in 2023, the trace command function was designed to be used on the web interface level. So if you head over to web.autocad.com, then on any browser, you'll be asked to log into your account if you haven't been logged in. And then on the left hand side, you can get to your files and folders, wherever your file may be sitting. So for example, here, we can head over to the files that I need, and I can open up the trace file that I want to show you. The trace function allows you to uh, basically think of it like putting a piece of tracing paper or bum wad over your design and then sketching a new design on it and then saving it. So here in the trace uh, palette that pops up, I have a couple of traces I created earlier. And then the new functionality is being able to create the traces within the actual AutoCAD desktop application. And you don't have to worry about just strictly working with making the trace initially in the web. So here for trace one, if I click it, you can see that that's the trace design. If I click trace two, it shows me that design. And then this trace three is the one that I created from the AutoCAD 2023 desktop application. So you can see that there's different ones, okay? Um, if I were to go ahead and close the file, and I'm not going to worry about saving it head back over to AutoCAD 2023 and look at the file from within the program. Uh, let's go over to Collaborate and let's go over to Traces and click Traces Palette. It'll open up mine is collapsed and hidden so I'm going to go ahead and move it out a little bit so you can see. Uh, actually I'm going to right click, make sure it says allow docking, and I'm going to dock it for you. And we'll resize it a little bit. And so even though I'm in the desktop application and I can see the traces, I can actually create my own new traces from within here directly in the software. I don't have to worry about initially creating it in the web and then having it, you be forced to only make it in the web based application. Um, there's a button here that says create trace. So when you do this, it'll create a new one. You can select it, right click and rename it, whatever you want. So I'm going to say from desktop application. You can make it any name you want, but once you have that created, um, you can see it's very, very light and gray. And then you can go in and you can start drawing whatever you need to draw for that new design. So let's say I create, I don't know, something have a unique design maybe we'll just grab that and we'll copy this a few times and obviously you don't have you know for this demonstration I'm not, I'm not being super exact of the placement of the palettes but it's just to give you a sense of you know how to create an actual new sketch for the trace there's a little configuration settings window here if you click this you can get to the drawing background and transparency um, and uh, you'll have to click here to learn more about the markups and how it functions with the drawing background you have the icon of the person who last modified it for the actual trace command you have this click uh, button here that allows you to click edit trace or view trace and then this button here uh, has markup assistant mode so you can toggle between um, the new markup assistant mode whether it's on and off so let's say you have a hand sketch of the area and you scan it as an image file you can bring it in as a markup and then trace over that and then hitting the screen check mark will allow you to finish the creation of the trace so back again over here on the left hand side if I click the one that I just made this is what you're gonna get and then there is an icon here to import markups into a trace. 
And when you do this, you'll get a dialog box that says select a markup file to import. Uh, and they're looking for PDF files, JPEGs, and PNG files. And unfortunately, I don't have one to show you today, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. Select the file you want, hit open, it comes in, place it exactly where you need, and then just start tracing over it. Uh, and that's it. That's the new update to the trace command in AutoCAD 2023. As always, if you have any questions, just you know, let me know. And thank you very much for watching.